Bonjour, bonjour mes livres. Et nous allons continuer notre discussion du chapitre 6, la nourriture, et euh, notre, notre structure, euh, le verbe manquer. So in the last video, we discussed the very basics of the verb manquer. Um, in this video, we're going to discuss um, making the verb negative, posing questions, and relating the verb to food. So, for example, with uh, food, since this is an appendix to the food chapter that we've done, um, if you happen to travel abroad and spend any significant time abroad, there are going to be things about your diet here that, uh, that, that you'll miss. And vice versa, if you spend a uh, significant time abroad, when you come back, things that are difficult to come by, um, you'll, you'll miss. Um, there are going to be things uh, from your travels that, that you'll miss when you come back. Uh, so, for example, in, in my case, going, going there, um, I met going to France, I missed uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Um, peanut butter is difficult to come by. I was uh, near Germany, so if I wanted peanut butter, I would go to Germany. Um, if uh, I wanted... Uh, if I wanted jelly, I had I had jelly sent from home um, because the French have better things to make with grapes than jelly. So if I'm using what we've learned to express uh, missing this kind of sandwich, uh, so for example, uh, the sentiment is I miss you. Uh, the structure is you are without me, so I miss you, tu maman, tu maman. Um, in the case of the sandwiches, um, or I miss him, her, okay, il me manque, elle me manque. In the case of the, in the case of the sandwiches, um, for one sandwich, I'm going to plug it here. For multiples, I'm going to plug it here, and then... Uh, the conjugation follows. Okay, so let's say I'm missing peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I'm going to plug it here, and I'll have instead of e because um, the pronoun would express that, but I'm going to talk about the item specifically. So instead of e, I'm going to say les sandwich au beurre de cacahuète et à la confiture de raisin me manque. Les sandwich au beurre de cacahuète et à la confiture de raisin me manque. Okay, so I really miss them. Uh, so that's how that's how you would structure this, and you could apply it to any any food, whatever food that you've learned. You want to say you miss it, put that food here. Okay. Or if it's feminine, here, and conjugate accordingly. If it's plurals like cereals or pastas, okay, or ki kinds of toasts, things that are uh, nascently plural in French, plug it here, okay, or things that you miss plurals of in general, plug here, in the, in the third person there, okay, and then conju the conjugation just follows the, the phrase, so you're just plugging in the, you're plugging in the variable, okay, So let's say um, that we don't miss something. How are you going to make uh, this structure that we've learned, uh, this verb that we've learned, how are we going to make this negative? Remember, the negatives, basic negatives, have two parts, ne and pa. And when you're conjugating, when you've got a subject and a subject verb, um, the ne and the pa go around the subject verb. But we've got this other addition here with our object pronouns. So we're going to include the object pronoun and the subject verb together in our negative. Okay, so the negatives are going to be the bread and then this is going to be the the meat. Okay, so we'll use uh, I miss I miss you, the sentiment, I miss you, structurally, you are without me. We're going to make this negative.
OK? Tu ne me manques pas. OK? So, I don't miss you. Tu ne me manques pas. It's harsh, but that's that's how it is. Okay. I don't miss you. Tu ne me manques pas. I don't miss him. Il ne me manque pas. I don't miss her. Elle ne me manque pas. I don't miss us. Nous ne me manquons pas. I don't miss all of you. Vous ne me manquez pas. Uh, I don't miss them, mixed gender or um, or males. Il ne me manque pas. I don't say the ENT. Uh, I don't miss them exclusively females. Elle ne me manque pas. Okay? So, for all of these, the first part of your negative, the ne, is going to come before the object pronoun and after the subject verb. Tu ne me manques pas. Il ne me manque pas. Elle ne me manque pas. Vous ne me manquez pas. Uh, Nous ne me manquons pas, vous ne me manquez pas, il ne me manque pas, elle ne me manque pas. Okay? So that's how you make it negative. Uh, making it negative is, is pretty straightforward. Let's say that there's uh, a food that you don't miss. Okay? So let's say uh, you go to a place, you hate green beans, and you go to a place where green beans don't exist, and somebody's asking you about them. Uh, Les haricots verts, les haricots verts, uh, te manque beaucoup. <laughs> and uh, you can uh, you can express it as uh, les haricots verts ne me manque pas du tout. Okay, so what if you're going to what if you're going to uh, use this in a discussion. Okay. It might be prompted by a question. So let's say uh, you go abroad, uh, you're studying abroad, or you're uh, on a gap year, or you've got a long vacation, um, and you've you've made some friends, and your friends are curious about uh, your your life here friends family here um, and so they've got they've got questions for you and they might ask you about your parents so alors uh, tes parents tu parles tes parents régulièrement okay do you speak to your parents regularly oui je j'ai appelé mes parents environ une fois par semaine uh, so sure I, I I call my parents maybe uh, once a week, okay? And they can follow this up with your sentiments to them, okay? So, um, do you, do you miss them? Okay? So just like here, I'm saying I miss them. Il me manque. Okay? Do you miss them? All I have to do is take uh, my phrase here, stick a question mark at the end of it, stick a question mark at the end of it, I've written it up here, okay? And rather than, um, il me manque, okay? And change the object pronoun, okay? From me to te, because the question is about you, and you'll res you'll respond with the mo. But the question being about you, uh, this is going to be the um, the object pronoun that you'll use. Okay, so remember your object pronouns: me, te, se, nu, vu, and se. So you'll use these accordingly as you plug in your variables. Okay, so the question for uh, do you miss them? Il te manque, and then you can respond, oh oui, il me manque, okay, or maybe you're really enjoying the break from them, and mm, maintenant il me manque pas, okay, so maybe, maybe right now in particular you don't miss them, okay, so that's just, it's just plugging in the, it's just plugging in the variables, okay.
and posing the posing the question. Okay, um, something a little more complicated. Uh, say you're asking uh, someone else about a third party's sentiments. Okay, so for example, there's some maybe there's someone you haven't seen in a while, um, but you know that this other person talks to them regularly, so you're you're going to ask uh, this other person about a third person's sentiments towards you. That was a convoluted way of putting it, but um, let's say uh, you're curious about whether or not um, she misses you, okay? So you're asking, does she miss me, okay? And you're going to use indirect object pronouns. They're the same except for the third person. Third person singular, whether male or female, is going to be lui. And third person plural, whether male or female, is going to be leur. So since she is singular and in the third person, I'm going to use lui. I'm going to ask, does she miss me? Je lui manque. Um, je lui manque. Does she miss me? Je lui manque. Okay. And the response could be, oui, 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 oui. Tu lui manques. Tu lui manques. Okay. Or the response could be, non, tu ne lui manques pas. Non, tu ne lui manques pas. Okay. So yes she, miss, yes, she misses you, or no, she doesn't miss you. And for the negative, the ne is coming before the indirect object pronoun and after the subject verb. Okay, does she miss me? Je lui manque. Yes, she misses you. Oui, tu lui manques. No, she doesn't miss you. Non, tu ne lui manques pas. Pas du tout, c'est triste. Okay, so this is posing this is posing questions, and uh, again, it's just a matter of uh, plugging the plugging the variables in. Okay, the last question I want to express is, uh, what do you miss, or who do you miss? Okay, so I'm going to have what do you miss. Qu'est-ce qui te manque? Qu'est-ce qui te manque? What is it that's lacking you? Qu'est-ce qui te manque? What do you miss? Um, and it can be about food. Qu'est-ce qui te manque comme nourriture? Qu'est-ce qui te manque de chez vous? What do you miss from your from your home? Qu'est-ce qui te manque des États-Unis? Qu'est-ce qui te manque de la France? Okay, what do you miss from the States? What do you miss from France? Uh, and you can say, who do you miss? Qui te manque? Or you can add a superlative. What do you miss most? Qu'est-ce qui te manque le plus? Qu'est-ce qui te manque le plus? Who do you miss most? Qui te manque le plus? And then you can, uh, then you can respond just like these. Okay? And instead of the il, elle, you can plug in a food item, or you can plug in a person in particular. Instead of il, elle, pluriel, you can plug in food items, or a person in particular. Okay? The sandwich, au beau de cacahuète, et à la confiture, me manque de plus. Vraiment, <laughs> vraiment beaucoup, beaucoup. Ce sandwich me manque. Okay. So that's how you express to miss in French. The sentimentality is to miss, but the structure is uh, for something else, someone else, to lack or to be without in negatives and in interrogative form. And you can relate it to food in a variety of ways. Okay, that's it for this, uh, this subject. Merci, merci bien.